Hello everyone, so I see this is James Hughes with the Curriculum Integration Department. On this video in our Schoology Scholar series, I'll be talking about folders within Schoology and the different things that you can do with them. Folders in Schoology operate pretty much the same as every other electronic device. Same as your Google Drive, same as the folders on your PC. The folders are essentially a storage place of similar materials. In Schoology, you have the option to jazz them up a little bit. You can change the color of the folder. Obviously, you choose the name for the folder. You can move them and round and organize the order. You also can add graphics and pictures to it if you so choose. So there are a lot of different things that you can do with your folders. Also, if you click on the little arrow out to the left, you can see exactly what is inside of this particular folder. To get started, you need to always be in your materials section to add a folder. If you'll come up here to this add materials button, click on it, add folder. You'll need to title it, and then you can choose whatever color you so choose for this folder. You have a lot of the same different options that you do in other areas within Schoology. The main one I want to focus on is this insert content box. For this insert content, if I click on it and I come down here to image, this is how I can attach an image, whether directly from the web or if I have one on my computer. If I choose one on my computer, I can come here, choose a beautiful logo, and if I need to assign a date to when it's available, I can choose that. I can choose the range if I want it to be published between certain times. So if I want it to start on January 1st, but then I want it to disappear and become unpublished on the 31st, I can do that. I can select the sections I want to customize if I only want it to go to one section. Once I'm done, I'll click Create. Now the same as all of your other materials within Schoology, whenever you hit Create, it is going to drag all the way down to the bottom. If I want to move it, click on it and you see this gray bar that's shadowed in as I move it on up I can organize where I want it to go now I have my graphic that goes with it so if I have my assessments folder I can have a picture that goes to assessments in my if I have something about Baylor I can have it in this folder if I have something just about pages I can have it in this folder Another great thing about Schoology folders is this item isn't limited to just graphics. You can actually add videos along with it instead of just a single picture. If I go in here and title my new folder, I come into my description box, I come to my insert content folder, come over here to where it says YouTube, I'll type in my YouTube search. I can select my video. Once I click on it, I'm going to go to import and then import as embedded. See my yellow box? Make sure that it's published. I'll create. Like with the other Schoology items, it'll be down here at the bottom. So whether this is a YouTube video or something you shot, it'll be available to you to watch wherever you want. I got this feeling. Well, that's it for this session. Please be sure to let myself or Mr. Thomas know if you have any questions. And be sure to be on the lookout for our other sessions in our Schoology Scholar series. Have a great day, Robinson Einstein.